Okay, guys, and the next one we lecture continue on the second clip, นะคะ Okay. Okay, for the next one we talk about reduce routine work. A uh, repetitive work go around the same every day or as we tend to call it work. This kind of work routine can result in employees becoming unmotivated because doing repetitive tasks every day will make us feeling nothing has changed. We will bore and not grow no challenge until in the end we have no motivation to go to work. Right now, you cannot understand, but if you're working in the long term, you will understand the feeling. A routine like this is a very important task for the organization, but if we want to institute ways of uh, employees, we should have a way to deal with this routine by outsourcing all the work management system to use within the organization, etc. When we can reduce the work, this is a routine out. Employees will have more time to spend on the main tasks, have time to challenge new jobs. This is another good way to motivate employees. And the last one, have work-life balance. It will be noted that companies with long working hours and prefer to let their organizations go to work on holiday. It will make employees easily out of power to work if you try to modify the working hours to be shorter, more time for employees to relax so they can concentrate on their work. When concentrating more, the work has been effective. Overtime work or coming to work on holidays will be reduced automatically. And when employees feel that work is more efficient, they will feel satisfied with their work and motivated to do it even better, knowing that is employee has a different work environment. It is important to choose the right Personal development method for each individual employees because choosing work methods that suit their lifestyles or values can motivate employees. Okay, next. Teamwork effects on firm value by attracting, containing, and motivating employees. Okay, guys, for the first one, team members has a concept of working together. The vision of working is the same direction. All employees look at the future together rather than focus on the work that is going on at that time. And next, team members will be able to prioritize tasks Okay, it will be easier to divide the work together. This will help make work easier. That's because employees have the same agreement, including having goals and objectives to work together. And next, team members believe that getting things done, cooperation is required and help is either when this is believed in the same direction. It will result in working results come out good and valuable. Next, brainstorming in teams help team members feel happy working because employees are automatically motivated realizing that for our co-workers. Okay. And next, all employees are responsible for their work together, right? And the next one, team member will develop more responsibilities. Employees will cooperate more towards the goals that they jointly built. And next, 
team members benefit from learning to work with each other. Role and duties of each employee will help in development and change for the organization to success. And the next one, team members feel free to discuss issues related to work. This is very important. Look at each person differently. Employee will feel that a colleague is interested in listening to opinions and accepting views. The work is totally different. Teamwork is all way to help UIUA result and lead the organization towards success. Teamwork contributes greatly that will help to meet the work of our employees also make the result of the work concerned and more satisfactory. And next process about team process. Use five minutes for try to understand this figure. Okay, guys, about the first bar transition processes. These processes occur between periods of action. The team members can evaluate their overall performance as a team as well as on an individual level, give feedback to each other, make clarifications about the upcoming tasks and make any changes that would improve the process of collaborating. That means evaluate about task analysis, goal specification, strategy formulation, result-oriented group, and next, this means the second bar, action processes. About this process take place when the team step to accomplish its goals and objectives. In this the team members keep each other informed about their progress and their responsibilities while helping one another with certain tasks. Feedback and collaborative work continue to exist in high levels throughout this process. Monitoring progress toward goals, system monitoring, team monitoring, and backup behavior coordination. And the last box, this means interpersonal processes. These processes are present in both action periods and transition periods and occur between team members. This is a continual process in which team members must communicate any thoughts and oral feelings concerning either another team members or a manner in which a task is being performed. Furthermore, team members encourage and support each other on their individual tasks. For this one, try to conflict management, motivation and confidence building and effect management. Training to improve teamwork. Okay, guys, this is the, the last topic about this. And you can look at forming, storming, norming, and the last one, okay, I think 